And now for something completely different. Hey, welcome to the land of the real. <clears throat> Carl. Here. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Pilkington. Guess what he's going to do today? What? Swim with the dolphins. I'd love to do that. Actually, I would too. Yeah. yeah. Not the sharks, the dolphins. <laughs> I'm going to send you to swim with the sharks, baby. You remember the time everybody was afraid to go in the water because of the movie Jaws? <laughs> I was a kid and I was terrified to go in the water. Oh, uh, we all went through that. Even, even fresh water where there was no uh, Jaws, but somebody would say, oh, but there's musky, musky lunge in there and, they, and they've got teeth. <laughs> the sturgeons in there, yeah. But okay. we swam in the Sturgeon River, so yeah. Yeah. We did have sturgeons in there. That explains your your mental disposition. It doesn't even make any sense. Radioactive Sturgeon River. <laughs> oh my, like you swim in that, you'll become a redneck. <laughs> oh my god. We are rednecks. So that's what matters. Speak for yourself. Holy shit. Redhead. Okay. So Carl's going dolphin mm. swimming. This should, this should be fun. Okay. All right. So don't forget to check the link down below and I'll put all of the Idiot Abroad episodes together in a playlist. When Brad goes traveling. <laughs> That's right. And when you, yeah, Idiot you know, Abroad. send me. I'd probably the same. I'd be just as bad. Okay. Here we go. So on an African side. Yeah, I can't see anything. <laughs> we come to the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Ooh. Oh, yes. If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die, it's things to do in your life. Easy boys, easy boys! It's difficult, he was so suspicious mush, mush. after the last time. This is doing the adding. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is like an Attenborough moment. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. Fucking hell! This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. Uh, no. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this isn't his list. It's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> who fucking twats? <laughs> I love that part. Who fucking twats? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's something. Now this this is probably number one on everyone's list, right? This crops up so many times. Swim with dolphins. When I think bucket list, I think swim with dolphins. Oh yeah. Mm. They're fascinating creatures. They're no, everybody highly says intelligent. they are. Everyone says they're intelligent. They are. <clears throat> Why are you not convinced by their intelligence? They say they're great. They say they can cure ill people. Who says that? They just, that's what they do, they put ill oh, people... What, you, you mean like dolphins are training as doctors? Yeah. Well, they don't... They, they can't even scrub up because they're <laughs> flippers, really. But they just say, don't they, anyone who's ill, just stick them with a bunch of dolphins, it makes them better sometimes. No, it doesn't. It's a wish list, it's like a... a little dream. What yeah. if we told you that you were going to Australia to swim with dolphins? Wow. What a lucky man he <laughs> is. Lucky boy. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's smiling at the thought of yeah. it. He's getting right. excited. Yeah, swim with a swim it's with like a dog. It, sometimes it, it's like you can understand what you're actually saying. <laughs> yeah, you look it in the eyes. It's almost so, like you can see there's a human, a human behind, behind the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just worried about getting a little snidey one. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. Get some speedos, little white speedos. I won't be wearing that sort of thing. You don't need to. Just go naked. I won't be going naked either. It's just that's not what it's about, is it? It's about the dolphins. They're naked. <laughs> I totally swim naked with dolphins. I don't, I don't know why it's meant to be that exciting. You too. They've always annoyed me, the way people go, oh, they're intelligent and all that, and yet Rick and Steve are calling me an idiot. You know, they're intelligent as a three-year-old. Well, what's a three-year-old done? Has anyone ever been blown away by something that a three-year-old's come up with? No. They normally knock around, sticking their sticky hands on windows and stuff, annoying <laughs> me. I never meet a three-year-old and go, oh, I'd love to spend more time with it. Huh? And it's the same with the dolphin. I think I said to Ricky and Steve, if it was in the Thames, they wouldn't be that keen of jumping in there. If it was swimming with old shopping trolleys and stuff. No, it's the idea of being in Australia. The Thames in, in Britain there. I don't like mm. the idea of a mega long flight. So Ricky and Steve said, all right, 
stop off at Thailand, have a bit of a break there, and then get another flight. So I'm, I'm not moaning about it, Thailand. It's meant to be nice, isn't it? Excuse me. Jesus, Everybody's what is going on? Is this just normal? Is this a Not normal again. day? I think it looks like some celebration. How do you lock the door? Straight into this after a 12 hour flight. These buckets of clay and all sorts. And look, he's probably just trying to go to work or something. <laughs> There's cakes and shit. <laughs> I mean, that, that's be medical, fine. isn't it? Actually, I haven't I mean, it's like there's a gorilla on the roof. Cadbury's advert. <laughs> Closed off, the rope is closed off, Chris. We're gonna have to walk from here. Of course, we are. Yeah, just there by the proper lunatics. Brilliant. I'm not being funny, Thailand's a big place. Did Steve know this was happening when he picked the hotel, or is this again part of the, the little niggle to just wind me up as soon as I land in a country? <laughs> New message received today. Alright. Did you enjoy the traditional New Year water festival? That's right over your street, isn't it? Um, listen, while you're in Thailand, I think it would be a sin for you not to experience one of the wonders of Bangkok. A meeting with some lady boys. Alright? <laughs> See you later. Lady boys? My mum and dad's gonna watch this. If it's anything seedy, I'm not doing it. I don't mind looking, but I'm not going to start doing what they do. Do you know what a lady boy is? Well, it's kind of like a like the like a tranny person, isn't it? It's like a a bloke who prefers to be more like a woman. But I don't know if they're gay or is it like Eddie Izzard, where it's just. You know, or like wearing bras and knickers and stuff, and then you take them off and you're a bloke again. I don't know how committed they are, I don't know mm -hmm. if you get different levels of commitment. But at the end of the day, how much, uh, you know, I, I suppose I'll be looking for little signs of blokage. <laughs> is that a word? Is that, is that him? Blokage? <laughs> That's mental. That is proper mental, isn't it? What's her name? Vivian. Vivian's a possible man's name as well, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good name, that. And it's almost like she's not trying to con anyone. Because it's like, well, my name's Vivian. You should have known. It's good. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. I'm, I'm Carl. Vivian. Vivian. Good, to see you. good to see you. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm not bad, yeah. Just, uh, really? That's what weird. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what's, what's the plan? What's, what, are we, what are we planning on doing? Mm, actually, I'm going to the nail shop and then do, do my nail. Hello. Is he getting more dressed up as a woman? Hi, Zodika. Oh, yeah, he's going to get us probably. Hello. Hello. Hello, anyone here? Hello. 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 How was it? It's quite nice, this. Yeah. She do well. Is this how it starts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you gay? No, I've got, I've got a girlfriend, 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. I'm sat here having my nails oh, done. Yeah. I mean, you know, fair play. <laughs> Have you all <laughs> had everything oh done? God. Have all three of you had everything removed? Me, Nam, it's gone. Everything gone. Right. So you could still change your mind? Oh, if everybody, anyone love me, love me in this way. So. I am what I am. Let yeah. me love my dog or something like that. <laughs> Are you going out with a man at the moment? Yeah. A straight man? Yes. Of he's course. not. Yes. He's not. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, we, we, yeah. When, when, when we go out in the night time, we met some guy and then maybe he comes say, hello, hey, how are you? Well, well, if he talks like that, he's definitely gay. If he goes, hello, no. how's it going? He's gay. Of course no, he's gay. He's not gay. He is. Trust me. <laughs> Just surprised how oh good it is. Oh my God. If I was here and I walked past Vivian, 
I wouldn't I wouldn't double take or anything. I was, I was expecting to. I don't know. Even the voice, the voice isn't manly, is it? It's sort of high pitched. The way she moves about, the way she holds herself when she's stood. It's it is like the real thing, isn't it? You don't get that at home. At home, if there's a bloke with a dress on, you go, oh, there's a bloke with a dress. There's no, oh, is it, is it not? Yes, it is. Big hands, airy legs, big eyebrows. <laughs> Moustache sometimes. Yeah. It sort of made me think, well, what is the difference between a man and a woman? If you have the bollocks off, is that it? Is that when, when the manness ends? It's like you're not a man anymore. And this is uh, our dressing room. It has made me think. Like, if Suzanne said, I've got something to tell you, I'm a bloke. <laughs> I would have always thought I'd go, oh, forget it, no, not having that. But I suppose at the end of the day, if it looks like one, it does the job. <laughs> would, would it change my view of her? Probably oh not. Probably not. I'd probably get her to do more stuff. I'd probably say, right, you're a bloke, carry more. <laughs> You know, carry bags in the supermarket, whatever. <laughs> they do your bit. None of that, oh, I'm a lady, I want flat. Never get hold of the bags. Things are changing. You can still live with me, but come on, pull your weight. I didn't think, awesome. think this way That's about funny. it. I thought I'd be like, no, it's silly. <clears throat> but it's proper confused me. Oh my god. I was never confused. Proper confused me. <laughs> You want oh, to make up? You just want to do the face though, yeah? Nothing yes. more than that. No dresses, no dancing about. Oh, yes, on. just make up. Yeah. Just wig. Yeah. That's it, okay. Oh, a wig. You've added a wig. Uh -huh. I didn't know about the wig, but yeah, but we can do a wig. But you might have shave. No, let's not shave. Uh -huh. Okay, close your eye. Okay, whatever. That's kidding no one, is it? <laughs> Wow! Wow! Amazing! This is like when Jenny does your makeup. Do like this. Smile. <laughs> Jenny has done this to me. Yes. I look like. Few uh, times. Few times. You won't know Dempsey make piece. You look like Sharon Osbourne. Look Sharon Osbourne. Like That's a good one. And a bit of Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he looks told you lovely. This <laughs> to go for the dress after all. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed. Travelling the world changes you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my god. It's not bad, is it? I don't think I'd fancy me if it was me looking at this. Which says that you I'm do better off being a man, doesn't it? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, sorry, Carl. I don't find you attractive. It's not glamorous, though, is it? It's more social I think it's club. Awesome. All right, Jack. <clears throat> done the lottery. I mean, I've done that for years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've all had a laugh. Have you got any makeup remover? <laughs> no. <laughs> no hair remover. Like the time we painted your toenails. <laughs> oh, they're making them. Uh... Oh no, he's not out in public yet. Oh, he's sitting like a lady. Hi, boy. Um, listen, I know you're looking forward to getting in with those dolphins in Australia, but as you're in Thailand, I've sorted out something quite special. I've arranged some training in the art of Thai boxing, and it's with a former champion as well. So, uh, oh, yeah, you should enjoy that. <laughs> All right. See you later. It's good, isn't it? Bad sign, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm sat here, it's thundering. It's like the start of a of a horror movie. You know, like when you know there's going to be trouble. The weather goes bad. The lad there, he's only about 12. It looks like he could do me in. All right. I'm Carl. Uh, yeah. What's your name? I'm Ning. Ning. Yeah. <laughs> you took him in or out? Oh my God. Why do we need this for training? This is what I mean. <clears throat> it's not funny, this. 
I'm meant to be seeing a dolphin. Huh? Come to see a dolphin. <laughs> it's no it's idea, like, though, yeah, whatever. Been told Shut what up. Thanks, <laughs> Aha, good, that's good. Go, one, two. Left light, left light. What? Left light. Quickly, man. Three. Oh, that hurt a bit. One. Oh, what the fuck? Friend. What's he doing in here? This my friend. No, come back. Don't care. Do it. Go. Come on. Five step your oh, foot, fuck man. Off. Five, man. One more. Five, five. Go. One, two. Ding, 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 ding. Four. Yeah. This go, is go, normal. Fuck. Five. This shouldn't be happening. This didn't happen in Rocky. You, man, you have to do oh, now. He's biting me. No problem, man. This is a problem. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. How many is that? Three. Okay. When I get home, Suzanne thinks I've got carpet burns. That's good. What have you been up to in Thailand? <laughs> right, that's it, innit? That's it. If we just get in the van and go, just say that's great, that. Gonna go and look at some temples or something. Right? <laughs> We're in Thailand. It's good to have a mental breakdown after yeah. all that. Steve sent me a text saying he hoped I enjoyed the Thai boxing training and said he's organised a little fight for me so I can put my new skills into practice. Oh no. Good okay. luck with that. P.S. It's blindfolded Thai boxing. Oh no. <laughs> so it's what I did today. Blindfolded. I'm going to go more and more mental as the series goes on. Idiot in a coma. <laughs> I wonder how they convinced him to do season two. It must have been a lot of money. <laughs> I'm getting in a ring with someone who's going to kick me head in. And what worries me is, he doesn't know how bad I am. It's going to keep going. My eyes might be rolling into the back of my head. You won't know, because they're covered. It's a bit Russian roulette-ish, isn't it? There's nobody in. I've watched Thai boxing on the telly, and normally anything goes. You can use your hands, your fists, your wrists, your head, your elbows, your feet, your knees, and yet in this, I can't use my eyes. It's dangerous, this. I mean, what's going on? I'm meant to be in Australia seeing dolphins. <laughs> And I'm in Thailand getting my head kicked in. Brilliant. Looks like they had fun with him. Yeah, they took it easy on him, actually. If it, I mean, if, if that was a reasonable thing to do, blind people would be doing Thai boxing. But I've never seen that. Yeah, if they were blind and they did it, I'd go all fair play to them. <laughs> they haven't got much sport, have they? Blind. I've never seen blind like, people like doing girl? anything. I didn't say girl. I don't think they really are, do they? No. Only to take the dog a walk, if anything. I would never do that. Boy, right, mate. How's it going? Hope you enjoyed the uh, blindfolded boxing. You've uh, probably got a few aches and pains, so as a little treat, I've arranged a massage for you. Hard work, reward. All right? See you later. Department of Corrections? <laughs> I was sent to a prison for a massage. Just never heard of it. I mean, yeah, I've, I know I know the thing that, you know, when people have been to prison, they come out and you give them little jobs to do, but it's not normally sort of hands-on stuff, is it? Mm -hmm. It's meant to be relaxing, having a massage. And yet I could have a murder around my neck. <laughs> These are massive. What sort of massage is it? Why do they need that access? <laughs> I suppose they've got to have a bit of help for when they get out. But I mean, surely there's a line when she's not going to be babysitting tonight. Surely. Oh, fucking hell. Why do you need your ass doing? 
You don't get stress in your ass, do you? <laughs> when you know they're in prison, you do want to know a, a little bit more detail, really. Just little things. How long has he been in? That would break me now. Did anyone die? <laughs> Did he fart? <laughs> Did you do it on purpose? I think that's three fair questions, isn't it? I'm having a game of a fucking twister. I could have Charles Manson rubbing my legs. <laughs> you see, this is why she shouldn't be doing it. I don't know what she's in here for. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> How come he's not getting this? <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, fuck, that's too funny. Are you having a relaxing time? Not really, not when, not when, I, I mean, I don't know if she was a murderer or not. Prison car is about rehabilitation. It's not just about punishment. It's about making people feel that they can be, go back into society and be happy again. It's about making people feel that they can be, go back into society and function and do a job like normal people. If anyone's watching this and they want to work in the beauty business and they're thinking, oh, I want to do massages and all that business, I'll go and whack someone on the, on the head with a hammer. It doesn't send out the right signal. She dropped a bollock. She messed up in her life. Got to pay for it. You can't stay. Jack the Ripper. What do you want to do? Make some muffins. Go on, then open a bakery. <laughs> You've got a killer on the loose. He's going. Oh, I'd love to rub people's necks. Get out. <laughs> oh my god. Um, listen, Ricky and I know how much you love animals, so we've arranged a little bit of a treat for you. You're visiting King Cobra Village. Oh, nice. Don't worry. Oh my god. We've got like three medics. We've got ambulances, so um, you'll be absolutely fine. That makes him feel better, I'm sure. How many snakes are there? Well, there's going to be a lot, isn't there? It's a snake village. Don't understand why they let them take over. I shouldn't be going in there. I wouldn't if I was here on holiday. I'd go, it's dangerous. It's a warning, that. The fact we have to take medics with us says to me we shouldn't be going there. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Foley, nice to see you. I know it's you. You lost fingers. King Cobra. King Cobra. King Cobra. How close should I get? I'd stay back. A bit. Oh Jesus, it's big, isn't it? Fucking okay, hell, what's that on the roof? Don't watch that. <laughs> right, stop, like stop, stay, stay, stay. Is is that is that one deadly? Could that kill me? Yes, it's have venom. So is is this the one that took the took the fingers away? <laughs> yes. That's the one. And yet you still love it? He's my friend. Anyone can touch this King Cobra. No, it's not worth the risk. Ten. Ten fingers. <laughs> Keep it that way. It's, it's getting a more deadly, bigger one out. When I first turned up, I saw he had fingers missing. You kind of think, oh, that's a shame. I feel sorry for him or whatever. But then you realise this is why he lost them. <laughs> well, I just don't understand. Is there really nothing else to do around here? Are the snakes happy? They're not keeping them in cages, poking them and annoying them. It's a killer one. I mean, I don't understand why you're worrying about them. I'm worried that these animals are being annoyed or teased or exploited or in any way stressed. I, I don't I don't think they were that stressed. And I tell you why, okay. what whilst one was sort of dancing about, it farted. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> That's a snake. I thought it was him. I mean I was blown away by it. Really to the point of I had no idea they even had an ass. <laughs> it was it was there. <laughs> No, but it's, 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 it's eating rats. Something's gonna come out. I thought the fart was a human thing. It's something to do with with like arse cheeks or whatever. The snake is smooth. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You thought the fart was a human thing. Oh what does that mean? It's that thing of if you're scared of your boss, imagine him naked. Oh I was scared God. of the snake. Once it farted, it was like, why am I worried about this? <laughs> Carl, your boss is Rupert Murdoch. Oh, so, <clears throat> how many times have you imagined Rupert Murdoch, mate? 
Okay, are you, are you imagining now? Well, yeah, because because you you've put it in there. <laughs> what does it look like? Like a tortoise without a shell on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <gasps> oh, snake food. Oh, maybe not. It takes out of you that you know. Messing about near sort of dangerous animals and that. I mean, they can kill you, them snakes. So they offered me some food, and I thought, yeah, I could do with that. You know, my energy level's low and all that. I saw chickens roaming around. I thought, I quite fancy some chickens. Yeah, I'd love some food. <laughs> Turns out it's ant eggs that we're going to eat. Oh, bugs or ants? Yeah, Bloody hell. Um, eggs. Ants. <laughs> oh, ants. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Bastards! <laughs> Fuck off! God! That's how much it hurts. Um, do you know what I mean? You feel it. You don't even know it's there. Um, keep. <laughs> Christ, I've got spoons, not chopsticks. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. That's a tiny bite. Let me show you this. I didn't know it was there. I felt the bite, right? Look at the size of it. It's tiny. It's not even big, and I'm feeling it. <laughs> but then again, I'm eating its brother. <laughs> you can't get annoyed with them. <laughs> oh my god. What's that? Chuck it all in. Mix in. <laughs> Little bit of wasp's garnish. Wasp's garnish? Another one. Fingers. Fuck boy. Hey? Fuck boy. Fuck. So fuck is. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck is chop. <laughs> chop. Dum. 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 Oh fuck. Hang on a minute. This is a joke. <laughs> that is a joke. Dum <laughs> fuck. Dum leng leng. Hi, man. Okay, okay. Oh my god, really? She's probably been to be so retarded. <laughs> take, take legs off, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably tastes great. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. I'm more worried about having some rice cooked in dirty water. So I'm eating these. Oh. I'm not going to set me lead from you. You're a lunatic. Oh my god. Finger, a finger buffy. <laughs> For him. A finger buffy. Jeez. My dad's missing his two fingers. Yeah. Not from a cobra though, from a saw. Yes. I mean, I thought I was only going to be in Thailand for a, a day or so, you know, just waiting for the next connecting flight to Australia, <laughs> but said I'm here for a few more days. I'm just wandering around like a loon, looking for stuff to, to see. Uh, I don't know if there's anything worth showing you. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I found this, this little garden with a five foot knob in it. I don't, I don't know, I, I haven't seen that on telly before. What is it? Some sort of fertility shrine? <laughs> it's like a warehouse for knobs. I've never seen so many. I mean, where do you get these from? <laughs> Who's making these? <laughs> it's someone's job to knock these up. <laughs> and the weird thing is, I mean, with the fertility and all that, it's not about the knob anyway, it's the bollocks. Oh, yeah, there's no bollocks. <laughs> there's a little pair there. <laughs> no, oh, a couple there. <clears throat> but I don't know if that's just there to balance it so it doesn't roll off. <laughs> You got a knob here with legs and bollocks, <laughs> but other than that, it's just it's just the knob. No, oh, God. Stuck a monkey on one over here. It's a little little knob with a monkey on it. Mix it up a bit. Uh oh, I mean, I think it's odd how people have gnomes in the garden. And then you see this, and it is that's the thing with Thailand. It's like that's weird. We'll go weirder. Oh fuck, that's funny. <laughs> Going to a museum, local museum in Bangkok. Uh, it's in a hospital. Medical which is museum. already weird. Have you ever going to go a dolphin museum. swimming? I don't know. I guess maybe. But then again, yeah. it's not a normal museum, is it? Look at it. They've got a dead body of a murderer sat in a baking tray in a sort of a, a wooden wardrobe with the door shut with sellotape. 
on a third floor of a hospital. <laughs> now we have Madden Two Swords, don't we, where you, you go in, pack with tourists, looking at models of Kylie Minogue and David Beckham from Thailand. Real dead people in boxes. They'll always go real. one better. Just heads, heads everywhere. Good God. Oh, that's cool. There's half a head. <laughs> you see, I'd have something like that. I don't know if I'd ever get sick of looking at it. For me, that's that's an ideal book end thing. <laughs> like that, books in the middle. And there's more chance of me wanting to look at that than any of the books <laughs> that are in the middle of it. That's cool. That's a a different culture. Isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, well, that's, that's what it's like, yeah. Just like Thailand's doing the editing like a little bit, if I'm honest. Yeah. You know, I thought I was only going to be here for a couple of days before heading off to see dolphins in Australia. But if I'm here this amount of time, I might as well get out of the city and see a bit of the country. I've heard there's a place called Monkey Town, and I, I love a monkey me, so monkey it'd be town. mad not to see it. So far, I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. Things that I never thought I'd do in my life. So I'm just, what a bit of time to do what I want to do for the change. See some monkeys. That's awesome. Look at him, he's waiting already. <laughs> he loves them, doesn't it? Look at it, it's got his hand there, wanting more before it's finished eating. No, no, that's it now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. See that then? They're not daft, are they? It's weird, isn't it, how you see them oh, on the telly so and everything cool. and you think, oh, they're good. But when you're with them, and they're being a bit sort of pushy and annoyed. I mean, it is a hot day, so they're probably a bit irritable. Sick of nuts. No. <laughs> is he working with the bloke who's selling them? <laughs> Piss off. Oh my god. <laughs> so really enjoying that. That's <laughs> awesome. You're right. Then. Ah. What's he oh, doing? I want to go there so Let's bad. See. Don't leave me alone when it has these. Who won't be used to the flavour? Oh, well, we'll never know. <laughs> Look at him, reading it first. What an idiot. <laughs> this is like that classic Attenborough Aww. sort of thing, isn't it? Never saw him getting his crisps nicked. <laughs> but that's the thing, you see, he makes animals out to be really nice and friendly. This is the truth. I was mugged before I came in. <laughs> I felt sorry for King Kong. But think about it, if this is what it was like, <laughs> running course. riot, nicking crisps, climbing up Empire State Building, I can understand why they said enough's enough here. <laughs> just sitting there. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere, everywhere you look. It's not just in these grounds. On a block of flats over there, they've taken over like squatters. I don't know. That's like, that one's me, and that's Ricky and Steve there. That's Ricky on top of me, winding me up. I'm going to be sick of it. Which one's Steve? The one in the corner there, playing with itself. <laughs> There's Ricky. Let's do another series. Well, I'd rather not. Well, come on. What we'll do is we'll send you off again and we'll do fuck all. <laughs> Why the monkeys have red arses? Had a packet of Monster Munch. Spicy. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> it's really funny in this one. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, this sounds like a, a weird sort of dream. I know, I know. They were nicking me out, my glasses. Oh, Do you know so you say glasses. you shouldn't give monkeys jobs? I think, honest to God, they've got to. They've got to give them something to do. They used to have them in films a lot, they had them in teabag adverts, <laughs> and now they've got nothing to do. No. <laughs> I'm... Now, the car, we've been through this, right? Those chips in the PG Tips advert. Do you really think they were a normal man? Right. They, it was just a stunt. They didn't really have those jobs. <laughs> this is so mixed up. It's not! It's amazing. <laughs> Don't wish for anything. Because it's never what you think. Actually, think of the things you least want to do, and the chances are you'll be happier with it. That's what I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, Blue. Um, I know you're on your way to Australia now. Um, just want to tell you about a very slight change of plan. Um, I know you would never eat a swim with dolphins, 
and and you're right, I suppose it is a bit boring. Um, so we've done a little tweak. Oh no. Um, you're swimming with sharks. Oh. 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 What All the right? fuck? I'd be pissed. I'd be like, oh, oh I want to swim. How's that part of the bucket list, anyway? Yeah, really. So he didn't get the pick after all. They just swindled him. I thought it was meant to be my bucket list. Things that I want to do before I die. Maybe they should send they keep you. changing the rules. You'd be in the same Came all the way here. <laughs> see dolphins. That ain't happening. It's sharks. <clears throat> Nothing's really been what I thought it was going to be on this trip, has it? Meeting blokes that are women thought I'd like monkeys. They attacked me. Now it's dolphins. Thought I was going to see something friendly. Now I'm seeing something nasty. Sharks. Most deadliest thing on the planet. Have That's a swim with it. Long way to come to lose a leg. You are having a laugh, aren't you? It's going to be in that cage there, probably. Yeah. yeah. Look at the holes in it. Well, maybe. No, maybe that. It's one not going to protect me from a bloody man eater. I'm just going to call Steve. Hello? Steve, it's Carl. I got a message from Ricky saying, I'm not seeing dolphins, I'm seeing sharks. Why has why that been changed? It's meant to be my bucket list, this. The thing is, Carl, like you said in the past, mate, um, you know, anyone can swim with dolphins, it's a bit dull, a bit boring, yeah. you know, why, why do people do it? But no, no, no. So I just think we thought, yeah, fair point, Carl. Um, Steve, <laughs> you wouldn't even them. fit in the cage, mate. They would get a larger cage for me, that's not the point. The point is the experience. Honestly, I've seen sturdier shopping trolleys. <laughs> so I'm not going to let you get in the sea with any sea creature without you being protected. And, you know, dolphins, sharks, you know, the same sort of neighbourhood, isn't it, really? No, 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 it's not. It's totally opposite ends of the scale, eh? The friendliest thing in the world, the most dangerous. Harmless, harmless. I've got lots going on here, mate. I'm going to have to love you and leave you. I'm really up against it. Right, I, I, I might not do it then, just so you know. Don't be moaning when I get back. No, can't. Don't no, be moaning. No, yeah, you get on with what you've got to do. Yeah, you get on with what you've got to do then, like you say, but I'm telling you now, I might not do it. I'll get on the boat and I'll go out and have a look, but there's no way that I'm getting this thing that I've seen. I've, honestly, it's, it's smaller than a telephone box. Hey there. How are you doing? Is this Carl? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew. And Rodney. 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 Yeah. Rodney. Yeah, great. Carl. You can um, get in our starter cage. It's still cage. not. Starter it's cage. still not that filled in. Why? why? It looks unfinished. I mean, that isn't left like that, is it? That there. Yeah. They can maybe get their nose in. <laughs> we can get there overnight to get a bit of sleep and we hit it early tomorrow morning. We're doing overnight. Yeah. In the morning, we hop you into the cage. I'd do it. I don't understand why we've got to be on a boat all night. The sharks are in the sea. We're on the sea. Let's have a look at them. Let's go home. Why are we hanging around? See, they don't just nip. That's the thing. If one gets me, it's not just your finger, is it? There's never a friendly shark, is there? You know, you got Flipper. That was a dolphin. But sharks are always dangerous. Jaws. Shark attack one, two and three. <laughs> three films there, there was a chance for him to get friendly. Didn't. An angry shark for three films. Finding Nemo. Even the shark in Finding Nemo would have your head off. Didn't make it friendly. That was a cartoon for kids. <laughs> it, was still, it was still the grumpy one, the dangerous one. It's true. They give them all names to make them seem more friendly. I think one's called Moo. It's got a patch on it, it looks a bit like a cow. One's called Kiwi. Another one's called Knuckle or something. <laughs> but that's what we do, in it, as humans. We like to give everything a, a little name to make it less frightening. We're going to get to a point when doctors say, oh, you've got a little call in the cancer in your left bollock. <laughs> Timmy the tumour. <laughs> Timmy the tumour! <laughs> <laughs> it's just always that chance, isn't it, of something going a bit tits up. Good Jesus. It's like it's, it knows, oh, it knows that cool. someone's about to get in who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> We've got a meal here. You got a meal? Word's getting out. He said they're all circling. I mean, is it worth me getting in? Can't you just get in and film it and have me looking down on it? 
Oh, there we oh, go. I mean, is that one of the last customers they had? Get in, you'll be fine. Oh, send that back home to the family. <laughs> Here's Frank. <laughs> Legs in first, yeah? Legs in first. <laughs> One of these big great whites came up and grabbed me around the chest and I'll tell you what I've got in here is a photograph taken on the operating table. Oh that's good, that's good. Go on before you get This is after they stitched me up in hospitals. Oh Jesus. man. They took a photograph of me before they stitched me up. See this individual team? But someone would have said that to you before it happened to you. That's right, but records are meant to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> Better? I'd still do it. Would you do it? Um, oh, oh, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah. In the cage. I'd rather just. I'd do it in the cage. Can you see my eyes? Yeah. Yeah, they're still there. I don't want normal, though, do they? <laughs> 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 Looks like he's going to pass out. Truly heavy. It won't be heavy in the water. Oh, Look on me, I'm in the elephant one. Just <laughs> a big, heavy head. It's fun, it's awesome. I love it. Why does it keep doing this when it's time to get in? Oh, Jesus. You're doing pretty well there. Keep going, slowly go down. People want to get out. Just feeling a bit ropey. Just feel a bit shitty. If you'd like to get out, we can sit you on the edge, yeah, okay. Just a wobbly sick in this. Ah, uh, come on, just do it, buddy. I'm happy in here, I'm in the toilet because everything I need is in here, isn't it? <laughs> Toilet in case I'm sick. On the cup of seat. Loads of people have wrote in, eh? Great trip, excellent crew, great boat. It is, but at the end of the day, he's sticking this on me. The big baby grow. I can't move properly, I feel trapped, I can't breathe. Then you chuck a shark in the mix. He's the only one who's got it right. Look, Richard. Sick. I agree with him. This soup, it's been the happiest moment. I mean, isn't that a good thing that uh, my life is really happy and I'm, I feel content just by having a cup of soup? Surely that is a good thing that I don't need to chase madness. That's more what I'm into. Little puppy. Little puppy. Floppy ears. Right then, well, come on then, if I've got to do it, let's just get it on and done with. Okay, we're ready to go. This is Ben Collis. I can see him. Oh, there he is. Just look at him. Now, if you uh, just watched Jaws back in the 80s, that would have been freaky. When you're in here, clear your mind of all the you know, problems with the boiler, bills that need paying. The leak under the kitchen sink. All goes to the back of your mind, doesn't it? This is like when you're driving, you get a wasp in the car. You can't relax. Good God, that's the biggie. It's coming towards us. Uh, that is massive. The size of a sofa! Good God! Oh, good Jesus. Uh, he's such a sucky sometimes. Yeah, but that's why we love him. I know, but it's it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. But it's like, oh, come on, that's enjoyable. You know, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, he's safe, I get it, but yeah. he's also, like, very, very aware. <laughs> yes, yes. Paranoid um, aware of everything. Probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know, I think that's cool. I would totally say, fuck it, I want to go swim with the dolphins too, though. It's like, uh, yeah. Can't jip me out of that one. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to scuba dive like that and with the dolphins at a very shallow level. Yeah, shallow yeah. enough. I mean, we got into watching like some cave diving stuff, like people <laughs> uh, scuba yeah, diving yeah, I, in I caves yeah. and getting, you know, running out of air and stuff. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why I watch that, but it's like now I just have this like, you know, okay, I'll go shallow, that's it. But I'm not exploring any caves anywhere right. that that you might no, get trapped in. No, I'm I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Where the dust gets kicked up and you don't know where you are anymore. Yeah, yeah, like, that's no, what the big problem is. Too. Yeah. I'm I'm good. <laughs> so I'll go into caves that I can walk into. You that know? is definitely something that nobody can convince me to do, <laughs> even for an insane amount of money. No. No. <clears throat> I'm good. Okay. Anyways, but I would totally do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I, I mean, he's just sitting right there. It's like at the bottom of the boat. And the, those sharks, because they have names, they're used to the boat. They're not, I don't think they're aggressive. They know they're going to get a few snacks out of it. And... It's probably like a human kept area. Yeah. You know, so. But I mean, the, they're almost tame in a way, like. Yeah. In the sense that they know the boat comes here. They know the boat feeds them. Yeah. And there's some a bloke in a cage. I'm Possibly. saying bloke now. A bloke. Ooh. Bloke and bollocks and knob. See, we, we don't use those terms in Canada. It's no, just like no, we don't. Man, dude. Bud. Yeah, bud. Um, hey, sport. <laughs> not bollocks, but nuts. Not sport, but yeah. Nuts and nut sack. And not knob, <laughs> it's just dick or... <laughs> depends on the day. Yeah, it depends on the day. Anyhow. Anyhow. There, yes. that cultural exchange brought to you by That was Darth good. Vader. I'm enjoying the whole bucket list here, yeah. so... Yeah, it's good. Yes, it is. Yeah, so it's, it's quite entertaining. We'll keep going on it then. Um, yeah, it's educational. It is, yeah, in yeah, a lot of ways. You learn a lot about other countries through Carl. The fucking dick garden. <laughs> the knob garden. The knob garden, yes. Knob Hill Farms. <laughs> we have a knob Hill Farms here. <laughs> I'm never going to think about it the same way. Okay. Okay. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. And now for something completely different.